2. DESTIGMATIZING Disability by Preeti Srinivasa About the Speaker Preeti Srinivasan was born in 1979. She was the captain of the under-19 Tamil Nadu women's cricket team and lead the state team to the national championship in 1997 at the age of 17. After surviving an accident that left her quadriplegic, she co-founded Soulfree, a foundation that champions the cause of restoring, rehabilitating, and reintegrating those with spinal cord injuries and spreads awareness on its prevention among Indian youth. She was also a title holder swimmer, having won a state gold in 50 meters breaststroke and silver in other events. She also delivers talks on disability issues. Link https colon slash slash youtube dot be slash dw fifty two jiki underscore nvq summary quarantine period in her ted talk preeti srinivasan urges to imagine a world in which there is complete isolation where she cannot join any school or college and even god does not want her and temples do not accept her these are Questions always arise in the minds of disables, and she says that this quarantine period has been extremely different in our history and no one could have imagined it. It is temporary, she further comments that though such constraints constrictions are temporary but for some people it is permanent like for the whole life. The reason for this is it's a much more complex phenomenon called stigma. What is stigma? Evershine. Preeti Srinivasan further comments on stigma and says that it can be denied in many ways. But for her the definition is that when you are treated like the other, when you are treated like you don't belong, you are not popular, you are not accepted. Types of stigma? Further Preeti Srinivasan speaks about the types of stigma. There are three parts of stigma rejection, exclusion and dependence. This can be seen every day in school where children being rejected or bullied, just because they are too fat, too skinny they are too fat, too skinny, or too tall. The reasons are endless, we don't need any reasons, and as we grow up and enter the college and the workplace, we all find people who are unpopular, who are discarded, who are considered the fringe and not accepted amongst anyone. She urges to introspect to be the change and think about all the times when we have seen stigma happening and we have quietly ignored. How to be the change Speaking on how to be the change, Preeti Srinivasan says that change can be brought if you go and sit next to the person who is unpopular, be friendly with them, sit and treat them as an equal human being, make them part of your group, invite them to your next birthday party. All these simple, simple and small things can be done to be the change. Are we going to remove the red? She says that we can easily remove the red. All we need to do is to remove the rejection by accepting people as they are, to remove exclusion by giving them empathy and including them into mainstream society and when they become dependent, we can enable them, empower them by providing them with equal opportunities. Why should we be discarded? Another stigma. And the other portion about stigma is that it has a dangerous side to it. Stigma throughout society has been often enforced by violence. Violence is used to control people from marginalized segments of society. Then she shares the case of Mr. George Floyd and the brutality with which his death came out. But unfortunately, this kind of scenario has happened throughout history. Such cases shook our world. Scenario happened in World War II. During the World War II, thousands of Jews were murdered, brutally killed by Nazi regime. But they also killed thousands of people with disabilities and thousands of members of other marginalized segments of society like persons from the LGBT community. 
This small group of powerful people decided that they were superior and that they wanted to clear out the impurities in our genes and create a supreme race. How to get rid of the power of this stigma? Preeti Srinivasan comments that the impure ones were discarded and exterminated. This is the power of stigma. She suggests a way to get rid of such power of stigma by treating others with empathy. We can make friends with them and when we make friends with them, we will see that hey. We are not so different, we may have impairments. Impairments can happen to anyone at any time. They can be from birth or can be through an accident. Later she talks about impairments and suggests the way to overcome it. She says that all you need is a certain level of accommodation, it may be more or less, but it is there. All it takes is that a bit of accommodation. So, however, when disability happens, it is that you are labeled. Her interesting and adventurous life. She had a very interesting and adventurous life. When she was a R. Shine. Kid that did everything well and she excelled in sports and academics, and everything she touched was a success, but at the age of 18, she suffered a sudden accident that caused her to break her neck and she suffered a spinal cord injury that left her paralyzed below the neck. She was shattered and lost her sense of identity. She thought invisible, her parents would be standing next to her. People would inquire a lot about her, as if she was not even there. She was shattered by their questions. When she tried to join college, she was told, there are no lifts, no ramps, don't join. Why do people like her even try to come to college? But she kept fighting and completed her bachelor's degree and her master's. And then she had to write the net examination. National eligibility test is a very competitive exam and when she registered, she told them that she was a wheelchair user and all the details were provided and yet the answer was, the exam hall is in the first floor. She had to be carried up many staircases. Why there is such stigma? Why can't they accommodate this level? But today, she is a PhD scholar at IIT Madras. Indian Institute of Technology which is considered as one of the best institutions in the world. She is perhaps the only woman ever with a 90% disability to gain admission into IIT's PhD program. Yes, life can change if we keep fighting. Preeti Srinivasan started Soul Free. Preeti Srinivasan started a public charitable trust named Soul Free, which has been working for the last seven years to improve the quality of life of persons living with spinal cord injury in India, especially women. As she says that many accidents happen in a year and there is no support system in the form of rehabilitation, providing better opportunities in education and sports and entrepreneurship, and so many things. They are left helpless and many of them pass away in the first year after the accident. The reason she started, Soul Free, was because two girls she personally knew were forced to commit suicide by their own families. They were told, you are a shame and burden on us. You won't deserve to live. You are a curse. Because you are there, everybody is ostracizing us. So, they drank the poison that was left next to them and died. She could not keep quiet. This is the reason Preeti Srinivasan started Soul Free. She created a productive life. Against all such odds, Preeti Srinivasan created a productive life. Because of the work done through Soul Free, more than thousand families live a better life today. She further says that she should be treated like any other person. Level the differences. The playing field has been leveled. So, with people having auditory problems, they need closed captioning. Such simple things, such simple accommodations, impairment can be removed by accommodation. But disablement is systematically done by every one of us in our society. So, we need to be in the change. We need to create awareness, we need to accommodate, and we need to ensure that everybody has an equal opportunity to fulfill their highest potential. Be the change.
She says that this lockdown will ease. It will go away in no time. But after the fear is gone, after that the threat is gone. After everything becomes so-called normal again, will you still remember that there are thousands of people living under permanent lockdown? Will you join her in being the change and create a more inclusive, accepting, and tolerant society, where everybody, regardless of their skin color, regardless of any amount of differences they may have in their ability or in their looks or in their body. There is so much body shaming going around. It can stop, right? Let's change. Comprehension. Answer the following in about a page each. 1. Though quarantine period was temporary, it was extremely difficult to everybody to experience but this situation is permanent for people of some category. How? Ends, in her TED Talk, Preeti Srinivasan urges to imagine a world in which there is complete isolation where she cannot join any school or college. And even God does not want her and temples do not accept her. These are questions always arise in the minds of disables. And she says that this quarantine period has been extremely different in our history and no one could have imagined it. It is temporary, she further comments that though such constraints, constrictions are temporary but for some people it is permanent like for the whole life. The reason for this is it's a much more complex phenomenon called stigma. 2. Define stigma and mention the types of stigmas, according to the speaker. Ands, Preeti Srinivasan further comments on stigma and says that it can be denied in many ways. But for her the definition is that when you are treated like the other, when you are treated like you don't belong, you are not popular, you are not accepted. Further Preeti Srinivasan speaks about the types of stigma. There are three parts of stigma rejection, exclusion and dependence. This can be seen every day in school where children being rejected or bullied, just because they are too fat, too skinny they are too fat, too skinny, or too tall. The reasons are endless, we don't need any reasons, and as we grow up and enter the college and the workplace, we all find people who are unpopular, who are discarded, who are considered the fringe and not accepted amongst anyone. She urges to introspect to be the change and think about all the times when we have seen stigma happening and we have quietly ignored. 3. For a change in the life of the discarded, what are the ideas that the speaker suggests? And, speaking on how to be the change, Preeti Srinivasan says that change can be brought if you go and sit next to the person who is unpopular, be friendly with them, Sit and treat them as an equal human being, make them part of your group, invite them to your next birthday party. All these simple, simple and small things can be done to be the change. She says that we can easily remove the red. All we need to do is to remove the rejection by accepting people as they are, to remove exclusion by giving them empathy and including them into mainstream society and when they become dependent, we can enable them, empower them by providing them with equal opportunities. And the other portion about stigma is that it has a dangerous side to it. Stigma throughout society has been often enforced by violence. Violence is used to control people from marginalized segments of society. Then she shares the case of Mr. George Floyd and the brutality with which his death came out. But unfortunately, this kind of scenario has happened throughout history. Such cases shook our world. 4. What kind of scenario happened in World War II, and how were the thousands of people, especially marginalized segments of the society, killed by the Nazi regime? And, during the World War II, thousands of Jews were murdered, brutally killed by Nazi regime but they also killed thousands of people with disabilities and thousands of members of other marginalized segments of society like persons from the LGBT community. 
This small group of powerful people decided that they were superior and that they wanted to clear out the impurities in our genes and create a supreme race. Preeti Srinivasan comments that the impure ones were discarded and exterminated. This is the power of stigma. She suggests a way to get rid of such power of stigma by treating others with empathy. We can make friends with them and when we make friends with them, we will see that hey. We are not so different, we may have impairments. Impairments can happen to anyone at any time. They can be from birth or can be through an accident. Later she talks about impairments and suggests the way to overcome it. She says that all you need is a certain level of accommodation, it may be more or less, but it is there. All it takes is that a bit of accommodation. So, however, when disability happens, it is that you are labeled. Points to remember Listening and decoding poetry in TED Talks Reading the same to mark the differences notice the difference between Western and Indian poetry. TED Talk, a new way of spreading awareness suggested activity. Watch and listen to the video version of the above-mentioned two TED Talks on YouTube.